All right, so we're currently taking these loads from Nevada to New Jersey. We already ran a few hours and we ran into a little bit of a difficulty. Seems like the thermostat got stuck halfway open, halfway closed. As to where if you drive it a little bit heavy like I do, you tend to overheat the engine. And if you drive it light like you're supposed to, like Rick does, you can feather it and make it to your destination. So right now uh, we pulled into this Walmart. Uh, got some paracord to fix the tarp, we got some uh, uh, radiator fluid and some antidote and a few other things that we needed. And then um, now uh, we're working on taking the thermostat out and seeing what little thing Rick can do to figure this out so we can keep on going forward. Basically, uh, I'm just gonna remove this uh, bypass EGR thing, uh, the EGR port, the EGR vault, so I can access to the thermostat and the little crank that we will be showing you because thermostats are actually not made for, uh, for hot or tropical weather, they're made for winter and freezing conditions. the thermostat and if you guys want to check here get it closer i don't know if you guys can see it but there is a gap in between this is sitting sideways so what we're gonna do is pretty simple what this does what this check valve does is basically opens and lets uh, water flow or the uh the coolant flow uh but it's kind of restricted you can see this is the whole surface and you will get, <clears throat> you'll pass through here, through these small things that I'm actually moving, these two things. Those can stay there or I'm just gonna pull them out so I don't, I don't send them inside the engine or the radiator. Um, but yeah, we, you can see here there's a lot of friction and that's not supposed to be like that. So what we're gonna do is, and this is something that I learned uh, back in the days and I used to do on race cars. You cut this in here, you cut this in here, you cut this in here, and you cut this in here. So basically, the, these two arms and this small triangle. Well, actually, the small triangle, you don't have to cut it. You just gotta open it here. You just gotta open this uh, this thing here so that the, the, the valve, or whatever is holding here, the shaft, you can pull it out. But I mean, if you wanna cut it, you can cut it. It's just up to you. And after that, I'll just show you the final product. You will just put it back on and get out of way. All right, so what we ended up just doing is pulling out the thermostat and uh, using a little bit of persuasion to make it end up looking like this. Yep, from this, it used to be kind of like this. Now I just look like this. And this, we just throw it away. We don't need that. Well, we're actually gonna pick it up and throw yeah, it away we're properly. Pick it up. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm adding some of this ultra gray adhesive formula gasket maker on the thermostat housing, correct? Just in case, yes. It doesn't need it, but it better be safe and sorry. I mean, since we're already in here and it's already taken apart, might as well. 
So just put that back in, button everything back up, and we should be good to go, right? Yep. Perfect. All right. Okay. Yeah, we just hacked that uh, thermostat, but don't worry. I'm going to an auto zone right now. I'm gonna purchase a regular thermostat to keep it in the truck just in case this little hack doesn't work, which I mean it has worked already. Numbers are down, so. Let me get this thermostat right here, right quick at this auto zone. And, uh, you know, called on the phone, made sure it was there, put it on the side. Uh, got payment method. And now uh, just gotta go here, get this thermostat, run back to the truck, and just keep it in there for later. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully, they have it. Right, auto zone. Shout out to AutoZone. They had the thermostat. Got to go way over there and get back inside the truck so we can get back on the road. Like I said, we're just gonna have this as backup in case our little quick fix doesn't work that well. So. All right, so. It's been a few miles, it's been a few hours. Uh, we're currently in a rest area back there somewhere. There's a Popeyes and a Starbucks and pizza. I kind of see it over there. But uh, yeah, so uh, our little homemade fix hack kind of, or I mean, not kind of worked, it worked. The truck did not overheat whatsoever. Um, yes. We still have an OEM one inside the cab, just in case. And uh, I'm sorry about the wind noise from the last clips. Uh, slowly but surely, surely, we're getting the equipment up to par to where it should be. Uh, Stat is on the load. Um, tarp on the other side got a little bit tore up, but it's fine. Cheap Walmart, Home Depot uh, tarps. Not too bad. And uh, tarp in the back's good. And we're holding on tight. So the little hack in the front worked. Got when we finish the trip and drop all this off. But yeah, thanks to uh, Rick's know-how and quick thinking, we fixed it and we're back on the road. So everything good and let's continue moving forward. So that'll probably be the end of the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, throw a comment down there of a time you had to do a little backyard fix to fix your truck kind of like what we did or if your little expertise came in clutch and helped you in a situation i appreciate that and yeah thank you for watching till the next one